Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Edgar Mendez, and today's reading is going to be focused on what do you need to know most. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your time and space with me. Sorry, I just finished a walk, uh, so my hair is crazy. Um, please check out my services if you are interested in any of that. And I just want to give a big thank you to all those that support me, that stuck with me. Um, as I evolve, yeah, and as things change with me, and I'm just so grateful for all that as well, yeah, so anyway, let's get started, um, let's see who's going to be answering our question, we have Metatron who steps forward, uh, we're going to be looking at um, what do you need to know most, but I want to know what the topic is about, because that's the harder one, I'll be real with all of you, it's like if the one you need to know about, right, so we have the lovers and it's reverse. It is in reference to a love connection, but this has actually been a theme in your life where you come apart from people, places, and things. I'm not going to say abruptly, but it kind of feels like that with the chariot and its reverse. It's like you are constantly being pulled from these situations, and it doesn't feel like things finish for you. It doesn't feel like things close off for you, and it doesn't feel like things work out for you. And I feel a lot of disappointment or mm, maybe despair. I don't know. It, it's just a negative emotion, whatever you feel there. But that's what this is about. Uh, you're, it's kind of like a pattern, right? Or a life circumstance, or it could be ancestral, but it feels like it's truly one of your patterns that you have. Um, I, I want to give love to you in the moment, this moment right now, because I know how hard that one is. We have judgment coming through. Um, this pattern's ending. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize that one. Um, the pattern's actually coming to an end, but you've seen it, right? Where it's like you just constantly uh, pulled away from people, people that you would rather have in your life than not, or things you'd rather have in your life than you're not, uh, or places or stuff like that. Um, it's like, this is just the pattern. It's coming to an end, but I see a little bit of work to go with this little rainbow road. Because rainbow road is definitely reminding you of the chakra system. You may want to check your chakras. I am seeing the green and the yellow one really being highlighted here. I don't think that's the problem, but I think it could help you finish this off sooner. It's not the problem, by the way. Can I get a clarifier? Sorry, I didn't want me to pull this one. Third eye, reclaim your mind. It's something in your mind. I, I, I truly feel it's a pattern of yours. Um, I am thinking about offering a new services, new service where I can give you a new pattern. Um, it's very high dimensional, so I don't know if I'm going to offer that for everyone, but it's something to just like. I want to just give that to you because I see this as being a problem for you. Okay. Four of Swords Reverse, Ooh, it's interesting. Um, I felt some avoidance for a moment, but I think you're gonna free yourself of this. You may not wanna look at this right now, and you may wanna uh, pretend it doesn't exist. Or you may not wanna think, oh, it's gonna get better somehow. Yeah, there's something needs to happen to get this change, all right? We have the Eight of Pentacles, internal work, healing is gonna get it done. The higher vibration that we are, the better we can see what we're not seeing, right? You can see beneath us, right? Um, we have the moon coming through as well. And then we also have the devil in its reverse. You're freeing yourself of this, but it's interesting. It's not, it is a subconscious thing, but it's not the only thing. I think you're going to use your intuition to do this. There are many ways to go about different stuff in our life. And I think intuition is the key to figuring out your pattern and figuring out how to break it. That's the point. I think you figured it out. The pattern, you see it. I think you're very, uh, you, I don't know when I know when I figured mine out or this one I had, it's actually similar by the way very sad about that but how do you figure it out how do you move through that i think it's going to be your intuition um it feels key <laughs> to me I, I gotta sorry i want to say that to you and I, it kind of hurts to say it but it's important that you use that intuition and it's very much linked to your i want to say the green and yellow chakra you, you, you i don't know where that, it always feels like there to me all right so let's see um is there anything else about this no but i do feel with the cherry and it's reverse <sighs> You know, Chariot, I remember, I haven't drawn Tarot in so long, but I well, I remember I used to interpret it in its reverse word, like you're, you're being pulled in two different directions. I feel you separating from a part of yourself that needs to be separated right now. It's not a part that you um you may acknowledge or you may honor or may even be a part of you. It feels like it's a dark side or you know how we have that, right? It feels like it's that. But I want to leave it like that and just let you figure it out, okay? Um, I do have this right there. I just want to let you know that, okay? I, just, I don't know. So I want you to let you know that right there, okay? So let's see. Um, what do you need to know? So you have the Four of Cups. This disappointment, the repetition of it or the repetition of coming apart and separating yourself from people, places, and things has left you apathetic. It's left you... Oh, wasteful. I want to say it like that. It may, it may be languishing is a good word, but I want to say wasteful. I think you have a lot of potential, a lot of, and I like exuberance, right? I feel like you have a life, a lot of life left to live and it's leaving you like, I don't, I don't feel like trying. I don't feel like doing, I don't feel like, um, and it's interesting becoming, 
I think it's an odd, odd word, but it is that word. Um, we have the Princess of Cups, and it's reverse. Uh, this is blocked intuition, by the way. Um, you're not seeing the purpose behind why these things have happened to you. I think you may be looking at just a negative, but I think at this point, you've gained the lessons. You just need to ex like forgive, surrender, and release that. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that for now, but we'll see if I keep this. I want to go a little bit more. We have the high priest. It's all about intuition, but this is about inner divinity and in your inner wisdom, inner guidance. It's the only thing that's going to get you through this. And I really want you to know that. Like, you really have to go deep into the self and be like, oh, well, um, this is how I'm going to get through this. And the moon phases come out. I think a specific moon phase will be key for you to figure this one out. You got to decide for yourself. It will stick out. I would use a number in your mind to see what sticks out. Look at what, what moon phase it is on a calendar. That's how I do it. But you figure you could try your own. We have strength coming through. Interesting. And then we also have the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups. Um, so I want to like let you know here, um, with the strength here, it's reminding you of the infinity. You're in a, a bit of a cycle, right? It can break. Um, hmm, I guess uh hey, I, I don't know if I, I I've said this before, but I've used an infinity symbol to separate myself from energies I didn't want. Um, you may want to try that. Um it feels like it will be helpful for you. But the fact that we have the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups, Four of Cups being the first card, Ace of Cups being the last, you are turning your way, you're turning your back towards opportunities that have a lot of potential because of your past disappointments. That's why this is your message. And your message is to stop doing that. I know, I know it hurts. But you may want to deal with this pattern first before you jump into something else because this pattern is a big one. And it's one that has held, I, I want to say held, held you back, but I think built you up is clear clear to me um you may see differently right now that's okay um but i think you may internalize it like that i see it's building strength and building um willpower and fortitude and one that you truly needed for your purpose and for your life trajectory but i don't think you need it anymore <laughs> and i want to say baby girl <laughs> all right i want to say that but um it's that feeling like i don't think you need it and that it's about time you start it's like you know let me break this honey i have some people in my comment section bringing up patterns a lot and i think that's very important um because i think you have one here and it's a tricky one let me see if there's any issues around this we have the king of cups interesting it's gonna take your all mm -hmm. i had a feeling about that i don't think the queen of cups can do this no no i think you need a king of cups to do this and this isn't an outside person this is an energy you need to find within yourself it's one that needs to activate it's the only one that's going to get you through Busting this door down, <laughs> um, breaking down that brick, not, yeah, brick wall. Yeah, it, it, it's key, okay? I believe like that. I feel good. I actually feel really good about that. Your message came out real clean. Um, all right, wait, perfect. Okay, let's take a look here. Um, we have gratitude coming through for what you need to know most. We have waiting. Yeah. In the meantime, make sure you find things to be grateful for. It, it, it does... The easier we can embody something in energy, the fa the easier we can use it and the more of it we can use. So a good example for this, it's actually gratitude. Very hard for me, by the way. Um, but the more I practice it, the easier it became and the more I was able to like have the energy in my life. I'm not saying I'm using that right now per se, but I do use it. Um, I use love a lot or whatever energy I'm using. But the more we practice on cultivating the energy, the more it's easier to cultivate the energy. I know, I know. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, we have inner knowing, which we knew already. Um, you need to practice um, now your inner knowing. There is a moon phase coming forward. I want to say the 27th. I don't know, but I get 12, 27. And I know that's an odd day to get because of where we are. But I truly am getting that day for you. Um, we have blessings as well. And then we also have a love. Love and truth vibration are key, but it's not the one. I think you're going to have to give it. You you truly have to master Um that masculine love energy to get through this. It's like, it's, it's like you're all though. I hope that makes sense. It's like, it's, it's everything, everything to break this. Um, I think I'm going to have to learn how to do this to break, to, to reset people's patterns myself. So that's why it's coming through, but it is what it is. We have love and move forward. Yeah. Um, I know how hard it is to like sum up that courage, that bravery, and even that inner strength, right. To move forward after you've dealt so many, the same type of blow. And it's like the same type. It's not like my life has had a whole random, different, bad experience. It's like it's the same one, the same type of one. And you you should see it. Uh, it's close. It's too close. If you ask me, too close for comfort. This is why it's detrimental to your psyche. And this is why you are struggling right now um, uh, to find the willpower to move forward. Okay. 
We have recognition, recognize your strength, also recognize what you've gone through. And thoroughly, um, and I don't mean in a negative way, I mean like, damn, I went through that and I'm 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 still okay. Or I, I didn't break or something like that. I don't know what your thing's gonna be, but you do need to recognize what you've done. Um, I'm sorry, I really have to pinpoint this. This is inspiration. I don't know why that's key for you, okay? <laughs> Sorry, these uh, this energy though. It's very interesting. Um, interesting. Okay, let's see. Is there any last thing? Okay, we do have one more. A little bit more. Any last message? Um, for what? Let's. They need to know. We have the two of wands. Unless you learn to trust yourself, you're always going to be indecisive. And indecision is the one of the worst things because it wastes so much time. Like if you you make a choice, like. You're like, I don't know if I should date this person or not, but it takes you like a week or two weeks to figure it out, month, or you're just chatting. You know how much time that is? What if you just went out on a date and figured it out that day, right? This is the kind of thing <laughs> I want to talk about right now. Um, there is indecision in you because of these experiences now, and it's because you don't trust yourself. Mm -hmm. We have the emperor in reverse, and this isn't you this time. This is someone else. Um, Someone has done this to you. Uh, someone's hurt you and makes you feel like you can't trust yourself now. Sorry, it's like it hurts to say this. My solar plexus is the one that's getting the hit, but I hurt to. Um, you've not moved on from it, okay? I'm uh, sorry, just it goes. I have to, I almost have to make myself a little bit cold and standoffish because it hurts a lot to say this, but you've not moved on from this Scorpio and um, it's hurting you. It's hurting you, okay? We have death again, and I shuffled um, coming out with the King of Wands. You're going to transform into someone very powerful who can take control of your life and not have to wait for someone else to save you. And again, my internet's cutting out a little bit. I hope everything's okay. I think we're fine. But um, I just want you to know that. Like right now, like you're going to transform into this powerful person. Some of you are going to start a business. Um some using a little Harvard. I don't even know why I have that coming through, but whatever it is, it's something that you would never have gone done, achieved without that pattern. Okay. And that is how I move through these things easier than I guess other people, because I look at it, you know, I couldn't be the prophet, right? And I am the prophet, right? Uh, if I didn't go through what I went through. And I want you to register that um, because you're going to, I want you to like, damn, I went through so much. What, am, what am I capable of now? Mm, I want to know too. <laughs> and that's why this is your message. All right. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, let's see, I'm gonna pull some last, uh, some guidance, uh, Metatron, when you think you mean, have some guidance, please. All right, let's take a look here. We have the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. We have the Two of Swords, and then we have the Nine of Swords. Interesting. I feel here with the Knight of Wands being in its reverse, you know, there is a... I think you have at, at times have a hasty energy and you tend to want to rush the process instead of actually being more thorough. I think thorough is a good way to put it. Um, make sure that this pattern cannot, you cannot, uh, huh, you can't rush it. And I want to say baby girl. I want to say that again. Um, you can't rush it. You can't. You truly, truly, truly need to make sure that you get every single piece of this because if it triggers again, you, I, I, it's so destructive for you now. I think it was useful, but I think it's destructive now, huh? And that is what I want you to register. Um, then the Pentacles, um, they want me to register. That that's the outcome card. I'm gonna pull one more because I wanted one with Knight of Swords here. Yeah, no rushing. Um, hmm. There are things that you may look over that you need to make sure you pay attention to, okay? We have the Page of Cups. This is actually about recapturing romance, but romance with life, love with life, um, appreciating life. You need to figure out how, how do I capture that again? Um, and it's key. It's all mixed together. Like, this is all one, like, a bunch of different pieces you're going to put together and find something beautiful. And But, again, this is the outcome. But you know what the outcome card is? Is that, the bird itself, freedom. Um freedom. It's interesting. What's funny here as well, and I want to make this clear to you, um, the, the, that bird, it flies away, but it always has the opportunity to come back. And that's power. <laughs> um, there's power in that, that's that statement. There's power in that energy. I mean, you know what? I can go back. And I know that it's not that you would, but you're going to understand what, I, like, what I'm saying when you hit that state, uh, when you hit that milestone with the six of pentacles here as well. You are... Um, 
Hmm. There are things to remind yourself of what you've given others and also what they've given you. But I think the Six of Pentacles had more messages in it, but I didn't pull it. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, the energy is waning a little bit. So I think I'm going to like pull one last card. They're calling it a drastic card. Well, let's see. Let's see. what What is the last card? Emotional challenges. Well, we knew that already, right? We have resolved the issues. This is that cancer and cancerian energy. Might be a key for some of you. I don't know. But the cancerian energy is very key, but resolve the issue. And that's key for you right now. Um, and we have spiritual evolution to set your heart free, which has actually been your message. <laughs> um, and I want to thank you, Scorpio. Um, beautiful messages. They have been really beautiful all around. If you're interested in booking with me, I do have a lot of services open, a lot of healing. I'm trying to see what do, would be good for you. I think it's going to be different for everyone. Um, but I do have a lot of stuff open, ready to book and take care. Bye.